What's up guys, today on the show we are tackling the Mai Tai. And then you say to yourself, again, the Mai Tai? We're tackling the Mai Tai again. How many more times could we possibly make another Mai Tai? But this isn't just any Mai Tai, guys. This is the Monkey Pod Mai Tai. My name is Leandro Demon Riva. This is the Educated Barfly. Why do bartenders look like dorks when they shake? Let's get into making the cocktail. All right, before we get into making this cocktail, we're gonna have to make a couple of things. So this video is gonna be a little bit of prep heavy, but I promise you guys, it's gonna be easy. So the first thing we're gonna be making is some uh, macadamia nut orgia, and we're gonna do this the lazy way. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab 150 grams of toasted macadamia nuts. What you do is put your uh, oven to 400 degrees, uh, put it out on a nice sheet pan and let it roast for about 10 minutes or just until they're fragrant into a blender. And then we're gonna do 300 grams of just warm water. We're going to go back inside and get the actual top for the blender. You you're not gonna keep in that I forgot the lid, right? No. So we are gonna blend this on high for about a minute um, until uh, it is just fully incorporated. Ready? Steady? About a minute, right? Sure. Okay, so we basically made our macadamia nut puree. What you're gonna wanna have is something that it can fine strain very well. So a fine strainer is not really gonna work for this. You're gonna wanna have something like a nut milk bag or a chinois, is it called a chinois? I always say chinoisie and people bust me on it. Is it a chinois, is that what it's called? Because what we have to do is separate the macadamia solids from the water and then we will have our macadamia nut milk. So we're just gonna pour it in there like so. You know, I should have got Marius with some with some gloves. Now I'm gonna make my hands all messy. You wanna make sure to press to get as much of the liquid as you possibly can out. We're gonna put these aside. You can make this into macadamia nut bark or whatever, or you can just discard it. So now we have our nut milk. Uh, we're gonna put that into our blender. So about a, a cup and a quarter and then 250 grams of caster sugar. We're doing this because we're doing a cold process syrup into there. We're gonna hit it up with just two dashes of orange flower water and a little pinch of kosher salt. Again, we're just gonna blend this for about a minute until all of the sugar is completely dissolved. <laughs> to the music in my head, man. I was dancing to the impression I had in my head of what it must have felt like when Matthew McConaughey uh, was playing bongos naked. And he got, he really actually got kind of messed up by the police. They broke into his house and they arrested him. What up? Do you remember that? You don't remember that? When Matthew McConaughey uh, was caught uh, doing like a naked bongo session in his house. So basically he was in, um, uh, Austin, Texas, where he lived, and he was uh, he was celebrating. I don't know something. I don't know some like football team won or something. And so he was celebrating, and he had been celebrating. I think he had been like he, he had been partying for like thirty hours or something like that. And he was playing bongos in the nude, and some of the neighbors called the cops because they were just you know it was two thirty in the morning or something. The cops came to his house and they broke in to his house. They didn't get, ask for a search warrant. They broke in and they like manhandled him down to the ground and they arrested him. Uh, obviously he got off with a slap of the wrist because what the cops did was totally illegal and he was famous enough that, you know, they didn't make a big fuss about it, but. Right, yeah. he didn't do anything other yeah, than Yeah, naked bongos, noise. but I was saying that my dance was just my interpretation of what it must have felt like for Matthew McConaughey after having partied for 30 hours and obviously on a good buzz to be playing those bongos in the news. Right. That's what Before my... the police broke in. 
Yes, yes, yes. No, no, just while he was playing, you know, well before the police broke in. But I, I had to get into the story because I can't believe you didn't even hear that. That's crazy. I don't know. Anyway, all right. So now that we've finished processing our orsha, we're just gonna take it, put it in a jar. And it'll last about two to three weeks. If you wanna make it last a little bit longer, feel free to put an ounce or two of some high proof vodka in there or some cognac if you wanna give it a little bit of flavor. And there you have your macadamia nut orja. Should I taste it, Marius? Should I taste it? Should I drink out of the jigger? Ooh, that's good. Macadamia E and sweet. It's pretty good. So the second thing that we have to make for this cocktail, because it's a fancy schmancy Mai Tai from Hawaii, is a passion fruit foam. We're gonna be using an Issy Whipper because this is the easiest way to do it. Although if you do not have access to an Issy Whipper, you can absolutely make this exact same recipe and use like an immersion blender, you know, one of those stick blenders, and you, you can use that instead. And if you don't have that, you can use a cappuccino frother. And if you don't have that, hit us down below and get a link and you can get one of those things. Links for it all below, my friends. One egg white, cracked on a flat surface. We're gonna try and get, ah! Oh, ah. All right, let's try that again. We're gonna crack an egg. We're gonna put it in a bowl because I messed it up the last time. All right, so let's crack our egg, separate the white. So one egg white. If you get a little bit of the yolk, it's not that big of a deal. Then we're gonna do half an ounce of honey syrup one ounce of passion fruit. And we're using passion fruit, fruit, sorry. We're using passion fruit puree here. If you use passion fruit syrup, you can do that, but it's going to be a little bit sweeter and you should have to dial it in. And then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of water as well. I'm using cold water for this. And then we're just gonna do one ounce of simple syrup here. Now, what we're gonna do, Cap it off. And we're gonna use the cream chargers. So these are uh, N2Os. We're gonna do four of these. If I can if I can actually screw it on. Oh, there we go. Shake it in between. Well, I guess it kind of bears mentioning that if you have one of these, but it's a pint and it's a smaller one, you use two cream chargers. So when you make this, you wanna make it ahead of time because we're gonna to have to stick this into the refrigerator for at least an hour until it gets truly cold before we put it on top of our cocktail. All right, so let's just put this in the fridge and there's all our prep stuff. All right, so now that we have made all of our pertinent ingredients, we can actually make the cocktail, which is really nice. This is pretty straightforward after you do that little amount of prep that you had to do. Interesting looking line. Oh, why? Because it's like, I don't know, the skin was all kind of grody, grody skin. Hey man, I'm sure the lime is very sweet. Don't judge a book by its color, you know what I mean? Pick it up what I'm putting down there. Judgy McJudgerston. All right, we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of our macadamia nut orsha. Half an ounce of dry curacao. One ounce of light rum, which full disclosure, the original recipe uses Hawaiian rum, which I don't have access to at the moment. So I am doing uh, non-Hawaiian rum. Uh, so I'm doing a light rum and a dark rum. Ice into the tin as we do. Get in there, get in there, get in there. And then we're gonna take our nice Mai Tai glass here. I'm gonna fill that bad boy up with some ice too. You give us a nice shake. Give it a nice strain, like so. We're gonna take our second rum. We're gonna use Gosling's in this case. And we're gonna do a little float on top, like so. 
and we're gonna take our secret ingredient out. Not our secret ingredient, but our foam that we made earlier, and we're going to put it on top like so. Voila, the monkey pod Mai Tai. So I think that before we taste this, Marius should just get the shots of it now. And then we will come back and taste it, guys. But this foam resolves itself really quickly. So also we're gonna have to mix these rums in to really get the flavor profile. Do it. All right, let's give this bad boy a taste. We're gonna have to, we're gonna definitely have to mix this in a little bit. Mm. What's so nice about that is that the macadamia orgia really is the star of the show. You do get the rum in there, you get those rums, but you also get that nice toasted macadamia flavor. It's really tart, but what I'm assuming is that the cocktail was designed to be a little bit more tar tart because you can stick a straw in here and that's one way to drink it, but it kind of defeats the point. You really want to taste it through the foam, which is what we're going to do now and see how that goes. Um, the foam is going to be a lot sweeter. Is it a little simple syrup in it, honey? Uh, passion fruit puree. Yeah, that is just all of the flavors just blend so well together. You get that passion fruit, a little bit of honey. It's savory, it's sweet. It's got the sharpness from the simple syrup, all that playing into that nice macadamia flavor. This is a masterful cocktail. I really like it a lot. So there it is, the Monkey Pod Mai Tai. This was created by a bartender uh, and a program director of the Monkey Pod uh, Kitchen in Waialea, which is in uh, Maui, in Hawaii. Uh, and his name is Jason Vendrell. Uh, this is really, really fantastic, very masterful. You guys should definitely go check it out if you guys are in Hawaii, uh, or if you plan to go to Hawaii. Or if not, make it at home, because you have the recipe now, so cheers. Oh, I just had to take another sip. I chose this particular episode because Marius and I made a glass, a Mai Tai glass. We made our very own limited edition Mai Tai glass. Um, it was designed by the very, very talented um, Chad Van Borstel, who is a good friend of ours in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, you should check him out on Instagram. I'll put all the links below for you guys to go follow. Um, we have a very limited supply of these glasses. We will be selling them to you guys. They are in very, very, very short supply. There is a link below if you would like to buy them. They come as a set for 30 bucks. Link below, go get your Mai Tai glass and make your Monkey Pod Mai Tai. If you like this channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Check out our website, theeducatedbarfly.com. And a very special thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members that make this channel possible. You guys, uh, what you guys do go, goes such a long way to helping us do what we do. And we really, really appreciate your patronage and support. Um, check out our website for merch, uh, articles, um, our bottle, virtual bottle program, reviews, all sorts of good stuff there. Mai Tai glass. Mai Tai glasses, most importantly, uh, although I said it before and now I'm gonna beat, your, beat, your, beat, you, beat you about the head about it. Just go and order some Mai Tai glasses. Um, we will not be making these Mai Tai glasses again. Once these are gone, that's it forever. So they're a collector's item. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I'll see you on another time. We're done now. What are you doing? Why are you just laughing behind the thing and not pressing like uh, stop or anything?